Good day everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we have another tier list video for you. Um, so far, thank you very much for these, uh, for everybody who's been interacting with the tier list co uh, videos in the comments. It's been really, really fun. Um, I enjoy reading your comments and I enjoy your feedback and your opinions. It's been great. Um, if I'm slow to reply to your uh, comments, not to worry. I see the comments um, and I'm in the middle of like decorating and everything else. So trying to find a good schedule to start streaming again. So I appreciate your patience and thank you for your interaction. Really do appreciate it. Today we are doing the X-Men movie ranking tier system. Now this is all the X-Men movies, including the Deadpool films as well, including Logan, all the Wolverine standalone movies as well. So I'm looking forward to talking about this. I'm looking forward to going through this tier list. If you like this video, if you like the tier list that we'll be doing, hit the follow button, hit the subscribe button, sorry. Uh, hit the like button, share with friends as well, and also continue uh, commenting down below as well. I really like your comments. Please continue with it. And let's get on with it, shall we? Um, so like I said, we've got all the X-Men movies down here, including the uh, X-Men, uh, the, the Wolverine movies and the Deadpool movies as well and including uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. Now I won't go too much into Deadpool and Wolverine because um, I've just seen it lately myself and I don't really want to spoil it for anybody but we'll get to that movie as much as I can before I get to it. Alright, if I say if there are spoilers, I will say spoilers. Okay, so let's get started, shall we? Okay, so the first movie, obviously, obviously uh, we have an, an unseen movie here. I don't know if this is a movie um, or a TV show, The New Mutants. I've never seen this before, so this is officially in um, my not oh, my uh, unseen tier. Uh, so I better go through the tier list before we go anything. Um, so obviously we've got horrible self-explanatory it's okay it's good it's great god tier god tier is like this is like a fucking awesome movie um so should we just go into it and let's uh see what we come up with yeah okay so obviously we'll start from the beginning x-men one this came out in 2000 25 years ago now uh 24 years ago i should say uh, which is crazy i was 10 years old when this movie came out and uh, I was more, I was more into Spider Man. I love the X Men animated series, but I was more of a Spider Man guy. And then these movies kind of like reignited my X Men love for X Men. Um, amazing cast: Patrick Stewart as Professor X, Ian McKellen as Magneto. You've also got Hugh Jackman as well, Wolverine. Amazing cast: Halle Berry as Storm as well. Really, really good cast. Really, really good movie. Um, it was the baseline for the films and obviously we didn't have like the comic book traditional style costumes that we all grew to love some, some similarities but because of the studio uh, the reason why they had these black um latex suits uh, yeah it's black like latex suits was because at the time the matrix was a big thing so the studio was like we could have the same suits as uh as uh, <laughs> the Matrix, so that's why we didn't get like the comic book style costumes until like later on down the line. So, um, first off, strong movie X Men One. It's a good movie. It is really, really good. Not the best X Men movie, but it's really, really good, and I really enjoyed it as well. Really, really good. X Two, X Men Two. Out of the trilogy. Of, of the original three X-Men movies, this one is my favorite um, because it answers a lot of questions on Wolverine's story. You get to see um, William Stryker for the first time as well, played by the brilliant Brian Cox. Um, we get that amazing opening scene with Nightcrawler uh, attacking the White House, which is at this time as well unprecedented. It's one of those things you don't expect from me because this is like fresh from like 9-11 attacks as well it's like 2002 2003 this movie came out and uh you know the interaction with rogue as well and uh barbie which is really cool 
Um, a lot of funny moments in it as well. Uh, it's, it, it, it's, it's a full-on movie. It's really, really good. It's got everything in there. It's got danger, it's got suspense, it's got comedy, it's got action. Good array of everything in there as well. And you meet Colossus for the first time as well, which is great. Um, so this movie, this is my favorite movie of the original three. Uh, it is a great movie. It's not quite God tier, but it's a great movie. Really, really good. X-Men last stand x-men 3 <sighs> this one i was a little disappointed with this is my least favorite one um because you know you had the big fight and whatnot at the end um you had angel the introduction of angel as well and you had like uh kitty pride uh introduced as well by played by um then elliot page uh no no we know elliot pages um Oh, sorry, Ellen Page. Now we know as Elliot Page. And, um, you know, you got Vinnie Jones as the juggernaut as well, which is really cool. Um, the way they, what they did with Mystique, I was a bit like, eh, wasn't happy with that. Um, I know it's part of the storyline, the shock factor about it, but it, it was an okay movie, and, you know, it, it's not my favorite. It's okay. It's a good watch. I'll watch it. Sit down and watch it. It's not horrible. It's okay. It's okay. It's a good film. It's a good film. But it's okay. Um, right. Wolverine. X Men Origins. Wolverine. First controversial one of the day. Okay. This movie was good. Up until it fucked Deadpool. I think we all agree with that. Um, the way they did it, it was really, really interesting seeing the origins of Wolverine. Um, the Bone Claws was a bit of a shock factor for me because we've all used to uh, the Metal Claws, but then how did you get the Metal Claws? And I didn't know he had Bone Claws. I never read the later comic books where they introduced like the Bone Claws and whatnot. Um, but it was, it was a good movie, good action-packed movie up until, um, like, towards the end. You know, you had the introduction of Gambit as well, which was okay. Could have been worse. But... Uh, it, uh, is it unfair to put... Is it unfair to put it horrible? Because on this list, I know one movie that's I think is way worse than this. Um... Uh, do you know what? I'm gonna say it's okay. I'm gonna say it's a, it's a low. Oh, uh, it's a it's a low okay. It's not. It's just teetering above that horrible line, but it just makes. It, but it's good enough. It's good enough to be in the okay. It's a, it's it, it's a good watch till the Deadpool bit at the end. That's the only bit I think. Um, I know everybody thinks it's the worst X Men movie. I think there's worse X Men movies than this. Um, but yeah, it's okay for me. It's okay. Again, it's my, this is my tier list. It's my subjective thinking. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm not saying I'm wrong. It's just my opinion. I know no doubt some of you in the comments will turn around and say you are wrong, which I respect. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Everybody has their opinion. As long as you're not a dick about it, we're good. X-Men First Class. So this is the first movie introduced with, um, James McAvoy is Professor X, like the new cast, to say, and this is going back to like, this is the period of films where they start going into like, um, decades. So this was in the 60s, obviously Days of Future Past 70s, Apocalypse 80s, and Dark Venus 90s, you know, they, they were going in that direction, which is cool, which is fine, I think it's really, really good, good, like, time jumps and whatnot. This movie was quite interesting. Uh, because you got to see uh, in a different sort of different universe the same universe but younger but then it changes as well at certain points uh, Michael Fassbender's Magneto is brilliant cast uh, brilliant casting James McAvoy is brilliant uh, casting Nicholas Holt the Beast is great casting as well Kevin Bacon is the antagonist is really really good as well um, you get to see them in the uh, in the first, in the black and gold uh, X-Men costumes, which is like the first X-Men costumes, really, really 
fun, really awesome. Banshee. I, I love they introduced Banshee into this movie as well. I love Banshee in the comics and in the animated series. Um, and like, I always thought like Professor X's powers was like, that, oh, he couldn't walk because of his powers. Um, but then, you know, he'd been shot in the back and wanna accidentally shot in the back, uh, which was fun. Um, the, only, the only issue I have with it is that Moira McTavert in this movie is a CIA agent, not a scientist, which is a different take towards the comic books. I'm pretty sure she's a scientist. She, I know she's a scientist in the animated series. I'm pretty sure she's a, she is in the comic books as well. So why they made her into a CIA CIA operative is a bit of a I don't know what the reason is by that. Other than that, though, it's a good movie. It is a good movie. Really, really good. Really, really good. Not really, really good, but it's a good movie. Uh, good start for, like, the new cast, you know? Right. Wolverine, the second Wolverine film. So this takes place immediately a few years after X-Men 3 Last Stand. And you could see him going through, like, the loss of Gene. Doesn't know what he's doing. Doesn't know where he is. Obviously, you've lost, like, Charles Xavier as well in X-Men 3 Last Stand as well. So he's going through all the losses and whatnot. He's left the X-Mansion as well. So he's kind of, like, on a journey, self-journey for himself. Um, but then he ends up going to Japan as well. Seeing the guy who uh, he, he saved in his past from... Uh, Hiroshima, I think it, I think the scene is the the big like nuclear explosion, whatever. He's in the cave and what, you know, it's it's crazy. Um, it's really really good film. Uh, I think it's one of the best Wolverine movies out there, one of the best uh, Wolverine movies, and uh, you know the the closing, you know the end credits as well, leading up to the follow on movie, which is even better. Um, yeah, I, this was this was a great film. I really enjoyed it, and it went along with the. Um, I can't remember the. I can't remember the line of comic books. I think it's like the samurai, Samu something samurai, samurai something, um, comic books of Wolverine, and it just went from like, to, you know follow that line and it was really really good adaptation uh for me this is a great movie really really good really enjoyed it probably one of the best um is it quite god tier it just misses out on god tier i know some of you were probably like oh this should be god tier and like in your tier list yes i'm pretty sure it could be uh you know god tier um but on my list, it's uh, it's it's a great film. It's a great film. Really, really good. X Men: Days of Future Past. This is my favorite X Men movie. Out of all the X Men movies, this is my favorite one because X Men: Days of Future Past is my favorite storyline in the animated series, and it's a favorite uh, comic book storyline as well. Really, really good. And for me, this is kind of like the passage of the torch movie from like the old cast to the new cast as well, because the interaction of both is is amazing, linked by Wolverine. Um, and you know, it, the, uh, the the movie, the storyline of it keeps going and going, doesn't fall off. Um, it's intense from from minute one onwards. I know there's a bit of controversy controversy with this movie where rogue was supposed to be in it but she got cut out and they did uh release a rogue edition where she is in the movie which i haven't seen yet but i'm interested to watch that that version of the movie see if it makes the movie different or anything like that um but if you haven't watched this please give it a try it's really really good i enjoyed it it's for me for me, it's a god, it's a god tier movie. It's it is one of the best X Men movies out there. I could be wrong. 
A lot of you may not like it. You, well, a lot of you might think it's horrible, but this is my list. I love it. It's a great film. Deadpool, the first Deadpool movie that we were introduced. And I tell you what, another, another God tier movie. Enough said about it. It's so good. I think Deadpool 1 is probably the best one of all three Deadpool movies. And it, it just, everything about the movie is great and I love it. The thing that makes me laugh about it is the wincing noise of Deadpool when he gets shot on the bridge scene. It's, it's hilarious. And the interaction with Colossus and Megasonic Teenage Warhead as well is it's just funny. So Deadpool, straight tier, god tier movie. Amazing. X-Men Apocalypse. Again, I love this movie. I really, really do. Um, because the introduction of Apocalypse is great in it, the music in it is great. Um, no, uh, Apocalypse bringing the four horsemen to his side, you know, with Angel, Psylocke, Cyclops, and Storm as well. You had Storm with like the Mohawk style as well, which is pretty fucking awesome. Um, you also have like Caravan introduced into it as well. Um, uh, and some of the new kids on the block as well a young nightcrawler a young jubilee a few others a few other characters as well i can't read name on the top of my head also as well in this movie pretty sure this movie as well yeah it is in this movie in this movie you, we finally get to see wolverine as weapon x in this like the full weapon x costume with the helmet the gears and everything like that fucking outstanding really really good um is it God tier? <sighs> it was almost God tier for me up until a certain point in the film where, where, where was it in the movie? There was a certain point in the film somewhere where I kind of like, uh, I got into it. Um, Oh, yeah, that's right. When, um, because they had Murray Matagot back in this movie, and then all of a sudden, Charles was like, I deleted your, uh, de your memory for a reason, you know, and whatnot. And then he just decides to do it again, and I'm like, what? why? Just just leave her have the new experiences. And that was like, uh, that's a little, for me, that was like, I didn't need that. Um, but then at the end, you know, you got everybody in their costumes, which is fucking great. Like, in their, like, X-Men costumes, which is, like, the proper ones. Which was a really, really nice touch. And I liked it. So, it's a great film. X-Men Apocalypse is a great film. Logan. Logan. Again, a great movie. It, it, it is a great movie really really good the introduction of um x23 as well the last quote unquote last movie hugh jackman would do as logan and and uh patrick stewart as charles xavier as well um it's kind of a sad movie it obviously follows the old man logan comic books uh it's sad to see charles like deteriorate with his dementia and everything like that which is really really sad it's a rated R movie as well, so a lot of swearing in it, which is quite funny. Uh, and it was it was fun. Uh, it was a great movie. Um, great send-off for Wolverine. Probably considered one of the best Wolverine movies of all time. Um, <sighs> yeah, I'm, I'm going to put it God tier. I, it's a God tier movie. It is. It's really, really good. Um, yeah, enough said about it. Better. Deadpool 2. Deadpool 2 is my least favorite Deadpool movie. Um, because I, I don't know what it is. It, you know, it still had the quirks and funniness of Deadpool 1. But I, it, for me, it kind of felt like it missed the mark a little bit um, with Deadpool 1. And I, I can't really... I, 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 it's funny it's a great movie it's funny to watch part of me is like uh, something about it is like Deadpool 1 was better in some ways and whatnot. I don't 
know. Um, but, you know, it's funny though. I think it's the only Marvel movie you get to see Brad Pitt in it, which is actually quite funny for a brief, like, two seconds being electrocuted. So, it's, you know, it's a good movie. It, it's a good movie. I'm, I'm not going to put it any lower than that. It is a good movie. Really good. <sighs> right. X Men Dark Phoenix. This is the last uh, movie with uh, James McAvoy and everything like that. Um, introduces Jessica Chastain as the main antagonist in it. Um, well, I say main antagonist. But I think the main antagonist is the Phoenix. Um, this is a horrible movie. This is a horrible movie because you have such the high of X Men Apocalypse, leading finishing the film off with everyone in their suits, in like the actual suits. Um, I love the actual suits, but like the Fox version of like the animated series suits. And I don't know what happened, but all of a sudden they decided in the middle of this like for this movie they decided hey that would be a really good idea that would really good be a good idea to fuck over the fans is how about if we put the x-men back in their first class uniforms rather than the uniforms we left them in in apocalypse and i'm like why and the dark phoenix um storyline was done for me it was done to death in the, the original trilogy i know what they were trying to do with this one but oh, fucking it just didn't work i i didn't think this was i didn't like the way they went on this one and then kill off mystique and everything like oh it's just fucking horrible it's just a hodgepodge I, it's the worst x-men movie of all time okay what anybody says if you like it great uh for me no <laughs> no thank you i did not enjoy it Deadpool Wolverine. This is the newest uh, Deadpool movie. Just came out a few weeks ago. The first Deadpool movie to be introduced into the MCU as well. And a way to introduce Wolverine and Deadpool in the MCU as well. This movie is great. This movie is... When it comes to fan service, this movie does it justice. And for me, after watching it, talking about it with... Um, with red uh like this movie is kind of like it's, it's not only an introduction of deadpool and wolverine into the mcu but it's also an introduction it's also an homage to all the 20th century fox x-men movies and deadpool movies as well and um it, it's a really good send-off for those lined of movies headed in for them headed into it to the MCU which means which means they've said goodbye to the old the, to the past and now they're introducing the future which is obviously when the X-Men decide to come into the MCU when that is I don't know probably in phase 6 or after um, Secret Wars is done and um, you know this movie I was so excited to see this movie I'm glad I've seen it. It was really, really good fun. Lots of funny stuff in it. Lots of great action in it. The chemistry chemistry between uh, Hugh Jackman and Ryan Reynolds is awesome. Why it took so long for them to get this movie done is I don't know. Um, but it is what it is. What, you know, we were all ready for Hugh Jackman to be like out you know, he was done with it, you know, and everyone speculated who's going to play Logan uh, Wolverine. But they've done this movie in a way that they respect the Logan movie as well as uh, other aspects of that movie as well, which is fantastic. Um, they obviously say as well, they, they recognize where Dead, what universe Deadpool is, which is uh, uh, Earth universe. Uh, 163 or is it 165 okay oh, that's annoying me now 160 165 universe 165 is where they're um this is where deadpool's universe is which is great to know and logan's obviously from a different universe um 
I'm about to get into spoilers, uh, certain spoilers. So if you haven't seen the movie, I'm giving you five seconds now to turn off right now. Five, four, three, two, one. Obviously, spoilers now, spoilers, spoilers, spoilers. Here we go. Obviously, in this movie, um, you know, you get to see different variations of Wolverine. You get the uncanny Wolverine in the uh, brown and gold suit up against uh the hulk which is a, 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 hopefully a movie we'll get to see down the road one day different variations a small version of uh wolverine you get to see patch which is a, another version of wolverine which is great um you also get to see uh henry cavill as wolverine in one universe which is fucking something i never thought i'd see um because they said a number of weeks ago they found a role for um henry cavill in the mcu at the moment and i wasn't thinking that so that's a really good surprise um and obviously as well the original x force being brought into it as well which is great um you know blade uh electra you know played by wesley snipes and jennifer garner being brought back into that which is great i think blade was a surprise and uh i think we knew jennifer garner was coming into it as well i think they announced that uh laura coming back into it as x23 they announced that in one of the trailers which is fucking awesome and also the big surprise for me which i was really really happy to see in um channing tatum playing gambit and he looked exactly like gambit, gambit from the animated series the voice the aneurysms the action scenes and whatnot with gambit was amazing fingers crossed with this with it uh, with the amazing feedback they've had from gambit's appearance hopefully we get him as get his mo get a gambit movie one day hopefully fingers crossed i'm pulling for him and um yeah and oh also as well uh chris evans uh coming back into it as well as johnny storm which is fucking awesome to see really really good to see him back as the uh, human torch and uh also as well shout out uh to my friend um he goes by the wrestler name bulk um but his uh name is uh mike walters he uh he's a really good friend of mine and he was in the movie in this deadpool wolverine movie as the big guy the big bald guy um opening the gates and whatnot his character is the blob he is playing the blob and uh it was nice to see him in that movie and fucking jealous that he's in the movie but i'm really really happy he was in the movie as well so it's good to see a friend in the mcu movie um so with that being said guys i think this movie <sighs> this movie's got to you i think this movie's got to you i think the all these choices here i think are really really good and uh i think i'm not gonna do deadpool wolverine you know disservice of putting in, it's great it is a god tier movie these are all god tier movie these are all great movies apart from dark phoenix obviously um but what do you guys think uh is your tier list different let me know what would you put different what would you well where or what you would put in differently and uh, let us know how you'd get on okay guys have a good one and uh speak to you soon have a great day